Hello viewers, today we are going to see how to integrate Active Directory user with the YPath Orchestrator. Let's see. So once Orchestrator installation is done, by default you will log in with uh, Orchestrator using a local user account. I am entering a username and a password. So once you log in into the Orchestrator, by default you will see that under tenant go to manage access you will see these are the local user you can see the account type you can see local user suppose you want to onboard your active directory user into this application how we can do it i have installed the active directory let's start is my active directory so in this domain i have a set of users okay user 1 user 2 and user 3 so now i need to log in uh, using this account in my application okay so now i am going to switching to the host tenant so by default you have the two tenant one is default one is host tenant whenever you are doing any configuration uh, with the identity you need to switch to the host tenant i am entering the username password once you log in into a uh, host tenant you have the option to go to identity hub and here you can click on the management under management you can go to the security here uh, you can see the list of authentication mechanism supported by UiPath Orchestrator. By default, it's the local user. Another one is Google SSO, Azure, AD SSO, Active Directory, SAML. So, in this video, we are going to uh, talk about the Active Directory user. So, for that, you need to click on that Enable option here. And you can click Edit. And you can give that any name here. For example, I am giving uh windows sso you can save these changes once you have saved the changes you can see the settings saved successfully you need to restart the ias and take effort you can click ok and you can little bit scroll down you will see the one more option to directory integration so the configure the active directory configuration with the windows authentication we need to configure this as well so here you can click on the test and save so whenever you are giving this option automatically it will discover the network to identify the domain available in the uh, network for my case i i have already installed the active directory and the name was let's start.com so automatically it will auto discover and once you're done you need to go to ias expand the server expand the sites you can see the evac path orchestrator so here you need to restart the site once you restart that and you can click on the browse so i'm going to sign out this uh, host tenant once you restart the is you can see that windows ssl it is enabled in the login page so you need to click on the windows ssl it will ask to enter the, your username and the password so you need to enter the username in my case i am entering the user one and the password is i am entering the password so by default it is not taking once you click on the windows so it is asking to enter the username and the password so i am entering my username and the password it is not taking so because we not added the directory user in the orchestrator so i'm just going to cancel this one and i am trying to log in with my uh, local account i'm switching to the default tenant login with admin so now click on the tenant go to manage access under manage access you can see that assign role option you can click on that option click on the users 
you can see my domain name it is displayed let's start is my domain name you can search the user you will see the uh, all the user it is listed out so you can see identify this user which user is a direct user and which user is a local user so whenever you see that user one at let's start let's start is my domain so this is a my uh, directory user so i'm just adding in the admin user as well so admin is one of my directory user so i'm just adding this admin because i log in with the admin user that's why i'm adding to the admin user and you can add any role and you can skip and assign and now we have successfully added that directory account in the orchestrator you can see that admin at let's start is a directory user similar way you can add more user in this way you can search for user one i have given the robot role and you can skip and assign so once done you can sign out and now login with sso and now you can see i can able to login with the directory user you can click on tenant and you can see this admin at let's start is my directory user i hope this video is very useful to you thanks for watching